The steps for how to embed a YouTube video in PowerPoint or video from other online sources like Vimeo are pretty simple. It's a similar process to inserting an offline video. Go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, then Video on the right hand side, and choose Online Video. You'll be asked to enter the URL of the online video, and as long as it works, a few seconds later you'll see a thumbnail of the video with a large play icon over it. The thumbnail isn't great quality, and you really notice the pixelation, even when small. In slideshow mode, you'll see the pixelated thumbnail, and then, after a few seconds, a crisper version appears, along with the various YouTube video elements around it, like a title, watch later, and share icons, and the familiar YouTube play button in the middle. You can either click that button to make the video play, or use the same animation settings as an embedded video to make it play in the click sequence or automatically, without having to use your mouse. While it looks like you can use the Video Format tab on the ribbon to alter the formatting of the video, don't be fooled! Most styles you apply will work on the thumbnail, but the video will play in a standard, flat window. Outlines and shadows work, but little else. You can change the poster frame, but that only applies to the pixelated thumbnail. As soon as you're in slideshow mode, the thumbnail or custom poster frame is replaced by the preview of the video with the player controls. You can crop the thumbnail, but the entire video will play as large as it can within the crop frame you've created, which isn't ideal as you'll end up with black tram lines around the video. On the Playback tab, you also don't have the ability to trim the video or make it play full screen, so you have to ensure that the video frame itself fills the slide if you want that to happen. Rather frustratingly, there also appears to be a black line at the edge of some videos while in slideshow mode. It's not consistent, and it can be on any edge, here at the top, so you may want to crop that off by moving the part of the video with the line off the edge of the slide. Don't try to be clever by using a masking object over the top of the video or anything else as part of your story, as online videos use the old school method of playing over the top of everything else. How very 2003. But despite these limitations, one neat feature is that you can embed a YouTube video using a timestamp to start the video at a particular point. This is achieved by either adding question mark t equals n to the end of your YouTube video URL, where n is the number of seconds into the video you want to start, or by going to the video on the YouTube site, getting to the point you want using the scrubber bar, right-clicking on the red current position circle, and choosing copy video URL at current time. That way, at least you can be sure of starting off in the right place and not having to manually navigate to it in front of your audience. Essentially, any online video is simply a window in your PowerPoint slide to the service's website. So when you embed YouTube video in PowerPoint, you're really getting a window to YouTube directly. And when you do start to play the video, remember that it's just a window to YouTube. So for the first two seconds, you'll still see the YouTube controls over the video before they disappear. Move your mouse over the video and they'll come back. Pause it and you'll see thumbnails of other related videos. And if you're signed into your YouTube account, they'll be personalised, so your love of Greco-Roman wrestling may be shared with everyone. With YouTube, but not Vimeo, there are also ads. They're not full videos or obtrusive pop-ups, just small, subtle grey info boxes on the top right of the video, but potentially distracting enough that you don't want to run the risk of them appearing, especially if they're personalised by being signed into your YouTube account. It also appears to be only some YouTube channels, which is why we've got a rather odd video here to demonstrate it. As the video is just a window to YouTube, if you click on the video, you make it an active element on the slide, so the familiar YouTube controls start to work, like spacebar to play and pause, and left and right arrow keys to skip forward and backwards by 5 seconds. You can also access subtitles and closed captionings, which is great, and video quality and playback speed as well. Subtitle preferences aren't remembered, so you have to do this manually, but resolution settings will be saved for next time. It may be stating the blindingly obvious, but you have to be online to make this option work, even when presenting. PowerPoint won't store or buffer the video for you, and frankly, I've had instances where the video just fails to play, even with a good Wi-Fi connection and YouTube playing in a browser. Oh, and when you open a presentation with an embedded YouTube video, you'll get a security warning about external media objects, which may put some people off. You also have to remember to click the Enable Content button in the yellow warning message at the top, otherwise your video won't play. So there you have it, how to embed a YouTube video in PowerPoint. For even more detail on using video in PowerPoint, check out the full blog post on brightcarbon.com.